Hello, my name is Max. And my name's Steve. And we work at the Museum of Life and Science in Durham, North Carolina. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk a little bit about the Scoville scale, which is a scale set up to measure the level of pungency of spice in peppers. Before we do that, we have something else really special in front of us. Steve, you want to tell us about it? Yeah, so sitting in front of us is a beautiful fruit. Um, this is what's called the Carolina Reaper, and it is the, the hybrid of two other chilies, so the red habanero and the buccilochia, or sometimes people know this as the ghost pepper. And so these peppers are both very hot on their own, but together they form the hottest chili in the world, the Carolina Reaper. Originally cultivated in South Carolina, but still here in the Carolinas. Great. So the Carolina Reaper has been the hottest pepper in the world for a little over three years now. And before we talk about the Scoville scale used to measure that and make that distinction, we're going to go ahead and eat them. You ready, Steve? I'm ready. Here we go. Okay. We're in it. Okay, so, wow, that's really hot. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Wilbur Scoville invented the, oh, that's really hot. <laughs> so, Wilbur Scoville it's like extremely hot. <laughs> it's really, really hot. <clears throat> I'm ready now. Wilbur Scoville invented the Scoville scale in uh, 1912, again, to measure the pungency of spice. <clears throat> and chili peppers. Now the more special scientific term that we have for it is the Scoville organoleptic or test. Organoleptic test. Now when we say organoleptic, whew, <clears throat> it's used to uh, measure a sensory experience like the one that we're having right now. Really hot. This is an ex extreme sensory experience. <clears throat> so it's actually done measuring uh, people's responses to the peppers themselves. <clears throat> Hold on just a second. <clears throat> the peppers actually get their uh, spice, their pungency, from a chemical compound called capsaicin. Steve, can you tell us a little bit about capsaicin? Yeah, so capsaicin is what's called a secondary metabolite. It's not essential for the plant's reproduction or survival, but it is thought to be used probably to defend it from being eaten by stupid animals like us. So. Capsaicin has a more complex name, preferred by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, which is 6-E-N-4-hydroxy-3-methylphenylmethyl-8-methylnon-6-anamide. It's really only getting worse. <coughs> Go ahead and say that. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely getting, anyway, getting bad. Anyway, the process is that they mix a grain, and a grain is, I won't say an antiquated term, but we'll call it a rarely used term for a unit of measurement, which is equal to about 65 milligrams of a pepper. In this case, it would be the Carolina Reaper. And mix it with about 100 milliliters of ethanol. So that's about this much here. That helps to release these capsaicins into the mixture, and then it's diluted into sweetened water. So this is kind of a weakness of the Scoville uh, organoleptic scale. It's really, really, really hot still. Extremely very, very, very hot. <clears throat> so the Scoville scale is measured in what we call Scoville heat units, or SHU. One Scoville heat unit would be this mixture, the 100 milliliters featuring the grain from the Carolina Reaper, or whatever pepper that you're testing, along with another part, an equal part of sweetened water. That means that a measurement of, um, let's say, 300,000 uh, Scoville units, which is about equal to a habanero pepper, um, would mean that that's this mixed with 300,000 equal parts to this. So 300,000 more milliliters of sweetened water. At that point, tasters could no longer taste the pungency from that habanero pepper. Let's talk about the Carolina Reaper pepper. The Carolina Reaper, at the top of the scale, has a Scoville heat unit measurement of 2.2 million. Million. 2.2 million. For reference, whew, for Green. reference, <clears throat> the, uh, the bell pepper has a measurement of zero, whereas uh, pepper spray that you might buy in a store has a measurement of about 2 million Scoville units. Does it feel like you've been pepper sprayed in the mouth? 
I it feels like yeah, yeah. I have definitely been affected here. Okay. In a very negative way. Uh, let's let's <sighs> take that reference a little bit further. So to get enough water, where if this was the mixture featuring the Carolina Reaper, to stop tasting it, you would need to dilute it in uh, as much water that would fill about five above ground backyard pools. That is a lot of water. It's equal to more than five thousand gallons of water. It's a lot. That is insane. So, an alternative method for, <coughs> for measuring the amount of capsaicin in a sample is what's called high performance liquid chromatography. And this has been used in modern times to kind of supplement the Scoville heat unit system. So, the American Spice Trade Association has decided that about 16 heat, Scoville heat units corresponds to an actual chemical measurement of about one part per million. So, that's one part per million per 16 Scoville heat units. Oh, gosh. So, Steve, you remember when I said it was 5,000 gallons, that's a little bit of the pepper affecting the way that I'm thinking. It's 58,000 gallons. Yeah, I thought that seemed small, but I didn't really care to tell you that. Yeah, sorry about that. <sighs> anyway, since this system is kind of flawed, how are you going to get 58,000 gallons of water to dilute this anyway? Um, now, measurements on the Scoville scale are done using kind of a more complex and arguably more scientific process. Can you tell us a little bit more about that process? Steve? I think I actually did just tell you guys about that. That's oh, okay. high performance liquid chromatography. That's cool. So, that's a method that's really complex. Not so much. But anyways, you separate chemicals out from each other and then you measure individual concentrations of each of the chemicals in your, in your solution. In this case, we would be separating out capsaicin all by itself from all the other chemicals that are in the sample of chili pepper. There's a whole class of chemicals called capsaicin. Those capsaicin is but one. And we would separate it and then measure directly the concentration of capsaicin in a known quantity of Carolina Reaper, for example. Excellent. Oh okay. I think that's about all the talking that I have in me today. Uh, we want to thank you for this. Fun. Wonderful experience. Experience. Um, I'm gonna go wash my mouth out. Thanks again for watching. Thank you for joining us at the Museum of Life and Science. Woo!